I was good to your boy 808 leak and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to make industry light beats using stock plugins I've been hearing a lot of things like I don't have expand Electra X Keyscape well that doesn't matter as long as you're creative you know how to use shit then you're good but either way I've been peeping the love y'all been giving me I'm gonna thank you all and for that reason I made this special video but enough talking roll the beat up Starting off, I went to Flex and I got me this choir, and this is what it sounds like. Alright, so boom, after that, I liked the sound, but I thought it was too dry and I kind of wanted to pad. So what I did is I went to Fruity Convolver, clicked on presets, and I picked me the blur white. I got an EQ taking out the low end, some reverb, and some kanky, but I didn't end up using it. And this is what it sounds like. After that, I rendered it out and I just boosted this with this knob right here and I boosted it with like 15.8 dB. I so boom, so for the next sound I actually went to flex and I got me this element sun and this is what it sounds like originally with no effects. <laughs> So boom, so after that, I got me some Fruity Convolver and some EQ taking out the low end. And this is what it sounds like right now with the effects on. After that, I went to FO Keys, got me the standard grand piano, and I laid down these bass notes, and this is what it sounds like. So boom, so for the effects, some reverb and some EQ boosting up the mids a little bit. All right, so boom, so for the next sound, I actually went to Citrus and I got me this acid preset. And this is what it sounds like. And of course, I added a ton of effects on it and I put some halftime on it and I put another ghost beat on it doing the same thing. I got a flanger and the EQ taking out the low end. And this is what it originally sounds like. For the next sound, I went to FO Keys again and I got me the dark piano and this is what it sounds like. With the effects, I had a ghost beat on it, but I took it off. But I have a delay on this. I did say that I was going to use stock plugin, but I'm not going to lie. I kind of lied. But you could get the same sound with the reverb, but I just like the Valhalla Vintage Verb reverb. But of course, I added some Vintage Verb and the EQ taking out the low end. I am for the next sound. I got me this vocal run, and this is what it sounds like. Yeah. I got a fruity multiband compressor, an EQ taking out the low end and the high end, and of course, a Viola Vintage Verb. For the last sound, which I'll remove in the final beat, but I still think this is hard, a whistle from Fleck. And this is what it sounds like. And so boom, for the effects, an EQ taking out the low end, an EQ taking out the harsh frequencies. At first I had some flanges, but I didn't add that. But I did add Pancake, which is a free plugin going left to right. And so boom, with everything together, this is what the melody sounds like. Yeah, I got the melody. Let's get to the drums. All right, so boom, this might look crazy, but it's really simple. Starting off with the hi hats. After that, a clap. Boom. 
boom after that a snare copy in the clap pattern after that a zap after that a open up boom after that a snare After that, I added this perk. And last but not least, I added this 808. Alright, so boom, so starting out with the arrangement, I had the pack, choir, bass hit, and vocal are coming as an intro, and this is what it sounds like. So boom, after that I added the piano counter melody and that comes fading in and I added a hi-hat, clap, zap, and open hat. And this is what it sounds like. And then right here, right before the verse starts, I removed everything but the last piano hit, the piano counter melody, and this is what it sounds like. So that was the intro. Now we're going to the verse. So I so boom. All I did is I put the vocal run in, but I just let it hit one time. And the same goes for the piano color melody. And of course I added the 808. And if you're wondering what this is, this is actually for the low end for the piano. This is actually for the low end for the piano. Cause you don't want your 808 clashing with your bass. So boom, this is what a verse sounds like. <laughs> That was the verse, and of course, right before the hook, what I do all the time is I remove the drums so the artists know that we're about to go into a hook, which this is what it sounds like. All right, so boom. So after that, I remove the choir and let the whole melody play, and this is what it sounds like. the hook i added the choir the arp the snare and everything together this is what it sounds like for the second verse i removed everything but the pad and the vocal run hitting once on the first bar and just letting the hi-hat clap zap open up and the 808 play and this is what it sounds like Of course, I copy bases the pre hook and the hook over here, then made it go back to the verse again that was here, then copy the pre hook and the hook again, and I faded it out with basically the intro. And of course, throughout the beat, had the swooshes so it doesn't sound like dry the transitions, but that was basically it. I so bull. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all like these type of videos where I'm just using stock plugins trying to make beats, y'all let me know in the comments what type of beat y'all want me to make next using the stock plugins. If you want this loop, you can either join my Discord, which will be the first link in the description, or I can send this to your mail, sent by me to you. But either way, it be your boy 808 Leak, and I'm out, man. Peace.